This is a short clip from today's podcast episode. By the way, there are five different ways. I'm sure there's more than that. There's five very common ways that people cheat in the map here. So I'll list them real quick. Number one, there's fake listings. So fake listings can be usually one of two things. There's a legitimate company in town and they have their listing, their Google listing, Google business profile for that business, right? Let's say it's a roofing company. But then of course, like all service businesses, they service a greater number of cities than just the city they're in. So their service area, maybe there's five, six, seven other cities. And somebody a long time ago told them, well, you can just open up whatever, a P.O. box, a, what do you call it, like a UPS store, a co-working space, whatever, something like that in these locations, or even use, some people use their employees, or as some people even just go on like Craigslist and pay somebody, all kinds of scenarios. But they've got fake listings, whether they're P.O. box or an employee's address in each one of these cities. And they, they establish a Google business profile in each one. That is against Google's terms of service and Google's guidelines for your business profile. So if and when they identify that, one of two things will happen. They will get rid of all those listings and maybe correct yours. Or they'll, especially for multiple listings, fake listings like that, more than likely you'll just vanish from Google altogether and you will not show up in searches. You will have a manual penalty against you. You can fight it and overcome it over time, but we are talking time, one, two, three years. So if you're not in a position to afford to be able to vanish from Google search altogether for a year, two, or three, maybe forever, then you will not want to play any of these games, right? So no fake multiple listings.